What's up, everybody? Eddie, it's PNM9, and me 4449 fan 2506 number two. And today we're gonna we're gonna look at the all new Brodozer monster truck from Spin Master. Now this is actually my third Spin Master monster jam toy, and it made its debut, I believe, in Nashville. And yeah, so let's begin with the review. So first. So first off, we can see there's some uh, nicely made hand handrails, both on the front and uh, and Spin Master is like my favorite com company, and they make awesome like Monster Jam toys, except for those crappy baby show baby toys, you know. So yeah, right here we have the probably the logo for like. You know, the Brodozer logo, you know. And I've actually never noticed when I first brought the Brodozer. But if you look closely, you can actually see there's a Monster Jam figure. I'm trying not to get too close. The camera's not really focusing. Focusing. Uh. Okay, there. So as you can see, there's a little figurine there. There we go. As you can see, yeah, and we have the Brodo, we have the Brodozer logo over here, and um, yeah, we got we got the tires with the yellow rims. I actually like how they use them, the how they use the BKT print on both of the tires because on Hot Wheels monster trucks. Hold on, let me bring in an example. Okay, so I brought an example over here. This is my team Hot Wheels. I don't remember when I first got them. So yeah, you can easily see that they have BKT print on one side and the Hot Wheels logo on the other other side, which is a big mistake because most Monster truck, most Monster Jam trucks, if you ever been to a Monster Jam um like show, I've been one in San Diego back in like 2018. Or 19, no. I'm pretty sure it was 19. Um, they don't have have that. And, um, so, yeah, um, we're going to look on the back. There's not too much to see on the back. And what I was actually expecting to be on that the truck was actually either this little exhaust coming probably through here that, you know, puts out the smoke since it's like a diesel powered monster truck so yeah there's nothing good that much to see on the back and actually if you haven't know here's a little fun fact about brodozer brodozer is actually a f3500 which is an all off-road truck now we're going to move on to the figurine so there's not really much to see on the figurine nicely painted now we're going to move on to something that I'm pretty sure you guys have never seen before um, this is the 2019 poster I got it well it actually came it actually came with the box and um, yeah as you can see Brodozer is on here um, and we have a couple other cars I mean truck trucks sorry um, we have Max D, sorry if the camera's not focusing. Pirates Curse, El Toro Loco, Megalodon. I got the 124 scale. Spin Master version. Wonder Woman, which I'm dying to collect. Grave Digger. Getting, um, willing to get another one. Monster McDalmatian, Bounty Hunter. Uh, Grave Digger, Son of a Digger. I'm hoping to get that. Monster McRottweiler, Scarlet Bandit, Hurricane Force, Jester. King Crunch, Gold Max D, which I already have. It's the Mattel version. Chrome Grave Digger, Avenger, which I'm also ready to get. Uh, Megalodon. Oh my god, how much? How many times will I have to say it? Dragon, Brodozer, already have it. Zombie, Earthshaker, El Toro Loco, Train Trucks, Megalodon, Northern Nightmare, Captain's Curse, uh, Crush Station, Big Kahuna, which I'm eager to get. Monster Mutt, which I already have. Uh, Glow in the Dark, Roll Cage, Soldier Fortune, Alien Evasion. And we have Dark Grave Digger. So, um, 
On the back, it has this cool picture of zombie driven by Bari Musawa. I'm not sure who drives. <coughs> um, zombie in the Triple Threat series, probably. I'm not sure. Well, anyways, that is my review on the Brodozer monster truck. You might see it in these upcoming videos. And, um, so yeah, I will see you next time when I feature the Whiplash monster truck. See you later.